Hey guys, I just got Reese down for a nap and today I wanna to talk to you about my newborn must-have. So my favorite products for the newborn stage, ages just born to maybe three months. Reese is six months old now, which is insane. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry when I think about it. She was just in this age and now she's so much older and it's crazy. But since she is a couple months out of this age, I've had time to reflect and think about my favorite products, what I definitely would recommend to you if you're a new mama. And so yeah, let's just get into my favorites. First up, my boppy pillows. First, let's talk about the boppy nursing pillow. I feel like everyone needs one of these. These are just the best. When your baby comes out all tiny, you have to like kind of hold them up to nurse them or if you're not nursing to give them a bottle because you want them to be kind of propped and you want to be snuggly. And that can really, even though they're so tiny, it can really like make your arm go numb or like make your arm sore or your back sore because you've got to be like, I don't know, bent over. And it, especially when you're in the hospital, oh, I brought my boppy pillow to the hospital and I used it constantly because when they come out, they just want to nurse all the time. And when they come home, they just want to nurse all the time. And so this saves you from having to like prop your arm up with a bunch of pillows and deal with all that. And it's great even if um, your husband wants to use it or your partner wants to use it to hold the baby. Because yeah, when they're so little, you, they don't just kind of like sit on your lap you kind of have to hold them up like this. And so even a grown man's arm will get sore. So these boppy nursing pillows are the best. And now that she's bigger, now that she's sitting up, I put it around her so she can sit up. And when she was like three months old, I would kind of like lounge her in it. So yeah, it it's awesome even when they get bigger. Now the boppy newborn lounger. We loved this and so did Reese. So this is basically a big pillow where you can put your baby down and they can lounge in it. They can look around the room. They're so cozy and comfy in it. We loved it and it is so much more affordable than the other loungers like the Daca Tots or the Snuggle Me Organic. And Reese loved this one. She did not love her Daca Tot at all. And so we ended up using this pretty much every day, all day. If she wasn't being held, she was probably in her Bobby lounger. And this was so cute to take like pictures in. I feel like so many of my newborn pictures, Reese was in her newborn lounger. And this just ended up being a great thing. It has like a little handle so you can carry it around the house. And yes, I would definitely say you need one of these. Now let's talk sound machines. You definitely want a sound machine. It is a game changer when it comes to baby sleep. Reese is such a light sleeper. So she has it on right now, thank goodness, otherwise she'd be out here wanting to party. When they're really young, it reminds them of the womb because the womb is really loud and so it helps them sleep because they're not used to silence. And then later on when they get a little older, you wanna still be using it because it will help drown out all the sounds from the house so that they will take longer naps, sleep longer at night, all of that. I really liked the Electrofan one. To me, it has kind of a calming white noise and it is something we use daily. Now we also have the baby shusher and this is also so stinking awesome. Now we use the baby shusher more if Reese is fussy or if we're out and about and she seems a little agitated, just we need to calm her down. We turn on the baby shusher and what the baby shusher does is it plays a shush sound. It's a human voice going shh, shh, shh. It sounds like it would get annoying, but it's also very calming for us. <laughs> And this is just a game changer. We recently traveled and we brought it on the plane and we played it on the plane. And you think that might be annoying for people around you, but it also stopped her from crying. So I feel like the people around us would rather hear shh than a baby crying. And several people thought that it was an extremely cool invention, which we would have to agree. Also, if I'm like at Target or something, I will play it and I'll just walk through the aisles and you know, we'll hear shh, shh, shh through the aisles of Target. But it's a lot better than a baby crying and it's it's less stressful for me and her because she, it calms her, calms me, everybody's happy. Now pacifiers. We used the MAM pacifiers. They're supposed to be very good for breastfed babies and Reese immediately took to them. I was one of those moms that said I wasn't gonna use a pacifier at first and then like a couple hours after birth she was trying to like eat her hands and chew on her hands and stuff and I was like, ah, oh, let's get her a passy. So my mom ran out and got a man pacifier and we got a bunch more. She loved them, loved them, loved them until five months old and she just like woke up one day and just wouldn't take a pacifier anymore, which is kind of sad because it was really nice. It was like part of our bedtime routine, part of our nap routine. She would have them in the car. If she got fussy, she might take one. 
but I don't know, I guess she decided she was too much of a big girl. But man pacifiers were our favorite when she did take a pacifier. She also likes her Webinub, but she more uses it to just play with. So Webinub is one of those Avent pacifiers that they like give you at the hospital and it has like a little cute stuffed animal attached to it. And she never really used these as a pacifier, but she has always liked to chew on them and play with them. And so we still have them and she loves to play with it. When we're in the car, sometimes I'll give her her Webinub and that'll be just like a fun thing for her to chew on and play with while she's in the car. Or if we're just out and about, um, I'll give it to her in her stroller. It's just something that she really enjoys. The bottles we have liked are the Lansano bottles. So I did first buy one of those cute Komotomo bottles that like look like a boob and everything and they're like soft and squishy and Reese did not like it at all. And then we tried the Lansano bottles, which has a great nipple, which is supposed to be good for breastfed babies. It's supposed to be really similar to the boob as well. And she liked that right away, which I have to say it was very convenient since my pump is a Lansano pump. Um, I can just pump and then leave a bottle for her or leave the milk in the bottles and send that to her babysitter. And so yeah, that ended up being very convenient. I know several people who said the Lansano bottles were the only bottles that her, their baby would take. So it's a, it's a great bottle. And if you have the Lansano pump, it's double as good because I mean, less bottles to wash. For burp cloths, I just got some off of Amazon. I don't think you need fancy burp cloths by any means, but I think you need a lot of them. We spit up a lot. So we would go through burp cloths left and right. And so I would just stock up and have a ton of these, have them strategically placed all over the house. We had some in the living room, in the kitchen, in our room, in her room, you know, 20 million in the diaper bag because you'd go through these and once they get gross, they get gross and you do not want to keep using them. You're probably also definitely going to want some bibs for your baby so that you don't have to change your baby's outfit 20 million times a day. We really like the hanky type bibs or they're just so cute. I got a pack of like 10 white ones from Amazon and then I got like a second pack of those because we would go through so many a day. And I like the white ones because then they kind of look cute with any outfits and spit up is white so you can't tell quite as much. And I think it's just good to have a million of these. When we did swaddle Reese, we liked the Velcro swaddles because having to actually swaddle them, I don't know, I never got very good at it. And she's kind of like Houdini, she could get out of just like the normal blanket that you swaddle yourself. And the Velcro swaddles are so great, they're just so easy. You know that you're doing it right and they're harder for them to get out of. And in the middle of the night, you know, you can just unvelcro them, change their diaper put it back just way easier. Now you are definitely gonna want to have an electric nail filer. Clipping baby's nails is the most scary thing ever. I never actually did it. In the hospital, she was kind of scratching her face and stuff and I asked the nurse if they would clip her nails and they said, oh no, we don't clip baby nails because you know, it's too hard. I was like, what? So we have to do it? And so it was just a terrifying thing. So I got just a regular file and was filing her nails and then I bought one of these electric nail files from Amazon and it is a game changer. Now it doesn't work great at like actually getting rid of the nails. It totally buffs them down so they're less sharp, but you really have to do it like twice or three times a week if you want to like stay on top of it. It's not like using a clipper and like the nail is gone. You have to like really buff them down for a couple minutes to like have the nail be like actually kind of disappeared but it's way better than clipping your baby's nails and having them cry and bleed and hurting them, you know? So for me, this has been a huge thing. I'm gonna bring it to the hospital next time I have a baby because apparently they won't clip your baby's nails. You're also gonna wanna have some sort of baby bath because they're little and they can't sit up and they're squishy and they're slippery and you wanna have somewhere safe where you can give them a bath. I know at first you have to give them a sponge bath, but you can still put them in the little bathtub and give them their sponge bath and then when they're bigger and their umbilical cord falls off, you can give them a full bath in there. Reese loves her bath. We're still using her little baby bathtub. Now that she can sit up, we might give her a normal bath soon, but you're definitely gonna wanna have one of these. You should also probably stock up on Aquaphor. That is the only lotion our doctor told us to use and we aquaphor her up almost every night. She hasn't had much dry skin and you know that you're putting something safe on your baby that won't give them a rash. And she actually likes it. You can kind of give them like a baby massage while you're putting it on them. I, I use aquaphor now too because it seems like such a great product. I like to put it on my lips or my hands. And so yeah, I steal some too. Next, you're gonna wanna have a car seat that also has a stroller system. 
Car seats get heavy, even if you get one of those super expensive ones that are super light. Once you have a baby in there, it's heavy. And you're not gonna wanna have to like arm muscle them through everything and it gets exhausting. So it's so nice to be able to take the car seat, snap it into a stroller and go. Even if I'm going a super short distance, I use the stroller system because I can put the diaper bag on the bottom and she is happy being strolled around. And otherwise it's just hard because you have the baby here. I have one of the diaper backpacks, which is awesome. And speaking of my backpack diaper bag, I definitely recommend a backpack diaper bag. I don't know, I feel like it's just so much easier, especially if you do have to be holding your baby. You don't wanna have to like have to keep your shoulder up while you have your diaper bag here and then have your baby here or something. For me, it's just been a really easy, nice thing to just put on my backpack and be good to go. I feel like they have more space too. They're maybe easier to organize. And yeah, I would say backpack diaper bag over normal diaper bag. You are definitely gonna wanna have a bouncer. So Reese loved her bouncer. We actually called it her grumpy seat. In the evenings when she was having her emotional hour, I won't call it a witching hour, we would put her in her bouncer and with our foot just kind of bounce her and that was just very calming for her. She would just really calm down and as she got older, she was kind of cool just like chilling in it and we would kind of take it around the house. And so if I was like cleaning dishes or whatever, I would have that in the kitchen or if I was getting dressed, I would take the bouncer and put it in our room and the bouncer was just a really great thing. You will also want some sort of play mat with like hanging toys. This is just a really fun thing for the babies. You know, when they first come home from the hospital, you might put them down in their play mat and they just kind of like empty eyed stare at everything. And then as they get older, they'll start to focus on the toys. And then as they get even more older, they might try to grab them. It's just so exciting and fun and sweet. And it's fun to have like somewhere for them to play. I say play because when they're like really newborns, they don't really play. But you know, as they get older, they do, they play and it's just so fun. And um, you can also do tummy time on it. And it's like a space that you know, you can put them down and if they spit up or something, you can always wash it. A play mat is definitely another must have. Okay, that is my newborn must have list. The newborn phase is so sweet and loving and difficult. And I hope these products will help you through it and help you enjoy it and that time with your baby. Just cuddle them up because they get big so fast and it's so sad. How did my baby get so big? How is she six months old? It's insane. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have a must have item that I didn't mention, please comment down below. I would love to hear what it is. Please be sure to follow me on social media and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.